Hello everybody, welcome back to Homestuck. Um, we are at... We have reached yet another walkabout with Mina here. And you can see my cat has joined us for the party. He looks comfy. Alright. And so... Well, um, we are Mina again, so let's just move forward. And when I say move forward, what I really mean is do everything except move forward because this is kind of an RPG. An ordinary domestic DOS coffer. It is full of smelly garbage, but it hasn't been dragged outside the ring yet. Maybe the waste collection drones is scheduled to make a pickup tonight. No self-respecting Alternian troll kid would dare keep a a uh, dry, unwatered lawn ring. Letting the grass outside your hive turn yellow is just begging to get called. Harsh but fair, you think? God, the life on Alternia was so great. You didn't live on Alternia. Or maybe that's what she means, is that like... Man, it's like... Before us was so lame, Alternians knew what was, knew what was up. The door is locked. We knocked, but no one answers. Seems to be an Alternian neighborhood. Aside from all the violence, Alternian culture seems like seems to have been pretty similar to life on before us. You know, except for all that violence. Long rings and all. Then again, as a spoiled runaway princess, you never did spend much time in the burbs. So what do you know? Better leave it alone. Might have the troll rabies. What the? An Alternian salt drink. Not really up on Alternian history, but apparently at some point the Empress got fed up with the subjugulator's stranglehold on a soda market and released a drink that was sold to be more loaded with sugar than even the wicked elixir itself. The High Bloods considered such marketing reports to be blasphemous lies. However, and they were right. The beverage actually contains zero cal calories, which she secretly mandated so as to preserve her, sim her slim figure. But all the low blood suckers guzzled cans down by the billions, none the wiser, while the crafty condens condin raked in the catch. Okay, that's funny. It's basically the... For Imperial Condescension, invented diet soda, just to spite Gamgee's ancestors. I love it. If somebody actually told you the story, you'd spend the next ten minutes fangirling on the floor. I'm lost! Where'd I go? Is there anything to interact with back there? Oh, oh, there I am. Oh, I see. It's just a weird thing. Weird perspective thing. Oh, it's Aridin's ancestor. Dual scar, I guess. Every maritime stallion focuses issues a stern fatherly nay. Seahorse dad. Oh, that's kind of adorable. Cronus. Vel, vel, vel. Globes. What? I saw you walking my way, and I had the smooth line all ready to go. But for some reason, I decided to open it with the tongue twister. Very nice, Ambora. Starting your killer line with three consecutive love words in a row. W words in a row. Ws are hard. They're hard and no one understands. <laughs> Vs too. What the... What was your killer pickup line going to be? Or should I ask? No. It's, uh, never even mind. This ruined now. Just never even. 
I just saw you strutting in my direction with all of your impressive moxie and confidence for the first time in how long? And I got a little excited. I was going to blow you blow you away with water from that out of the water with that wine. But I guess nothing's changed. Guess not. Sounds like you're still the bard of tries too hard. Oh nice, you always know how to twist the fork. <laughs> Actually, all you girls are quite adept at twisting your respective utensils. The guys too, now that I think about it. Can I ask you a question? Why do all of you pretentious scenester <laughs> types enjoy being so cruel to especially sensitive and autistic people? <laughs> Already I like this guy more than Aridin. <laughs> So I take it even after a billion sweeps here with a boatload of eligible spook shorties to smack on. Still never got any action. <laughs> First you twist the fork and then you use it to pry into my personal life. It's really just so svelle of you, Mina. Without commenting specifically on that, because seriously, what? So rude. I feel to say that it gets very frustrating after the first few epochs trying to make heads or tails of what people are even looking for. I mean, in any quadrant. Now, please don't tell me why I said so, but you and I both know pretty well all those people should feel honored to be go out with a guy like me. But, being, but with being royalty, I'm not even slightly put off my dating... my dating down on the spectrum. I mean, really, how much more evident can I make it to everyone that I'm really a cool, progressive, easygoing dude who doesn't want, who doesn't take the social wonder seriously or buys into any of the stereotypes? First of all, as if the hemo spectrum scene isn't beyond played out. You should be sticking your fork in that. Uh, he is Russian now. It is just trying to be VW. This VW ends up making him Russian. Cronus kind of sounds like a Russian word, too. Barely ever even bring up my high social status, except for right now, unprompted, for no reason. <laughs> it couldn't be less of a big deal to me, but I think people are uh, still intimidated by it. They're probably putting me on a pedestal, in spite of all my easygoing assurances that my royal lineage is something I never even think about. Like, no, friend, I'm just like you. Well, if we laugh at the same jokes, listen to, well, to some extent, the same music. At least used to listen to music. You like? Does that count? All these cats and kittens, I'm telling you, they're always drawn to the freaks and rejects. You have to be broken in some way to get a little... little... Con uh... Consumpent... Consumpent attention. I still have no idea how to pronounce that word. Never seem to give the time of day to a guy who's sensitive and listens to people and sticks to his poetry and music. And I guess just someone who tries to be there for them. <laughs> sensitive, listens, poetry, music, there for them. All these V's and W's makes me think of the beloved mayor. <laughs> mayor? Nice. Hell. However, the bright side to my various rejections is that. It has helped me to craft a private list of people who are objectively fucking terrible, which I will be happy to share. Mia? Where'd you go? Crud. She walked away while I was saying stuff. Really blew that one in record time. Not allowed to reblog that one, I guess. The reblog button was broken. Gonna make this quick. This ain't like a diving board for you to launch into, all, launch off about your feelings and 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 rom proms. Just give me a straight answer. Get a posse together to kill an invincible monster. You want in? Yes, no. Yellow. Even though you can't die, even though you can die die twice. Eh, whatever. Oh, nice! I just got here. Just got here and you're already going diabolical. That's the tops. Love to help. You know how I love to help out. There are attractive people. What kind, that, that's kind of my thing. But... Ugh, here we go. I mean, I just don't think I'm that kind of space right now in my life. Or afterlife, I mean. 
that space. <laughs> Aggressive space. I've been trying to cool it, be more introspective. Search my feelings, work on my music. I don't think I'd be very good at much good in a fight. I've been trying to get in touch with who, I guess what, I really am. And I think I've been making some nice breakthroughs. I'm telling you this in confidence, but I think I'm approaching a kind of awakening. Especially since I first started learning from hu learning about humans. I think I actually might be... Nope. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh -uh. Stop saying what, whatever that was you do... That was... Stop saying whatever that was do not care. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't burden you with my problems. Forget I said anything. I wouldn't want to compromise our friendship. Not even to speak with the potential of us to develop into something more than just friends. By which I mean two people who friendly engage in sexual intercourse. <laughs> who freely engage in sexual intercourse. Alright, you asked me how my music was going these days, didn't you? No. <laughs> no, I did not. It's going pretty nicely, I think. If I'm messing with dual sawtooth waveforms, I think I really, really could be hitting on my signature sound. If not my signature shape, at the very least. Here, listen to this track. I voted in anticipation of your arrival. All right. Not cl not clicking that. Um, I see. What about Pumpkin Party and Sea Hipsters Water Apocalypse? Nah. Hmm. Lunar Lust. Aqua Sex Renegade. Less pale, more pale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, coming on a little strong there, uh, Cronus. <laughs> Less pale, more pale. <laughs> you <laughs> creep. <laughs> Wait, I probably don't. I probably shouldn't have shown you those. Oh, hold on, I know. I have something here you'll dig. Give him another look under your fins all along. <laughs> we put the... We put the us in royal flushed. Uh. <laughs> so that was a no to my invite then. <laughs> Which got rescinded halfway through this convo anyway. Time to jet before you sketch me out. Uh, before you sketch any more crow times. Yeah, the reblog, the rebubble button has been broken. Like, you can even see that it's cracked, which is kind of neat. Where is Carcat? Oh, the Ventus lookalike? Yeah, he came by this way. I tried to start a friendly conversation with him, then he just flipped me off and locked himself in that hive up there. Looks like he conjured the memory of some sort of complicated puzzle door from some ancient ruins. I tried to open it, but it looked totally impossible. The kid sure knows how to give a guy the cold shoulder. What do you want with him, anyway? Nothing by. <laughs> I see how it is. Cronus gets the shaft while you scurry away to foot with some infantile loudmouth. Why am I not surprised? Guess I'm neither mentally un I guess I'm neither mentally unstable nor a big enough asshole to catch your eye. No big deal. I'll just record my feelings on the subject through a bit of slam poetry and bubble my sorrows away. And throughout the and yep, looks like I'm talking to myself again. She's gone. You know there's not a snow bubbles chance in monster hell you're being this guy. This is interesting. There's... You got the diamond key. So I need the heart key, the spade key, and the club key. Alright. Oh, it's a little memory of a baby. Baby Aridan. What? Someone... Some careless soul has left this poor infant club all alone to feed... All alone to spend for itself. So in other words, just like all grub, grubs on Alternia, they whoop. It's clearly a little baby car cat. Isn't that cute? A 
of his sights. The Clausicle. You absolutely love this due to its nautical nature. Also, hoarding items such as this will nicely complement your increasingly manic obsession with Carcat. So there's that too. Hashtag. You got a whole bunch of sea dweller, dweller, dweller bling. It's pretty obvious this all belongs to Cronus over there. He's just not wearing it right now, so I can convince him why he doesn't feel like his royalty, his royalty status is a big deal. Even though he does. And yeah, clearly he does. You have no problem whatsoever selling this shit to the highest bidder, though. You pocket that gaudy loot while giggling. Ugh. Bang, bang, bang. Is anyone there? Is anyone home? You say. But of course no one is. Because most of these hives are just memory projections. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Probably has troll rabies again. Hey, look at this. Ahab's crosshairs. You raise this awesome legendary weapon to the heavens and watch it sparkle a bit. Just before you bring it down on your knee and snap it in half while laughing maniacally, you hear a, mu you hear a muffled sob from Empora's direction. You got the Game Grub magazine. This publication is absolutely dripping with exclusive grub leaks. Actually, it's a pretty disgusting magazine. Oops. Oh, that took me somewhere. I really expect to go anywhere with that. <laughs> it's another little baby car cat. Maybe some kind of grub anyway. Actually, it looks slightly darker. It might be a uh, baby... Aradia. Uh, Looks like a looks like a looks like it's closer to a Radia's color than Carcats. What's this? Ooh, are we about to are we about to uh, meet uh, Mituna? This custodian really has his hands full, taking care of that guy. You kind of feel sorry for the hideous monster? Biclops dad? Or at least that's your observation if you're being Mina right now. If you're being Mituna, you beg your enormous parental unit for some mind, honey. Uh, the huge beast grunts dismissively and bops you on the helmet. You fall on your ass and throw a tantrum. But what if I'm Cronus? Let's not worry about that, okay? So I guess that means I'm gonna get to be Mituna. Ways you give a spoiler, game. Oops. Didn't mean to go off the screen just yet. Whoop. What was that? Was that a bug, or was that supposed to happen? Nope, nope, that was supposed to happen. Hey. Hey, bro. Pretty nice stunt there. I offered a high five, but you sort of missed. By about 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> Hi there! Uh, it's cool, G. Don't wig out. <laughs> Just take a rain check on it. More hand slaps where that came from, you know. No, let's do this! No, let's do this! <laughs> I think. down again <laughs> what the what is this what is this uh no seriously forget the high five i don't want to be responsible for you hurting yourself go fill your nuke <laughs> fun fact matuna's hit by xbox's four champion oh yeah so it is it's got the little box right there and, like, I think this is one of the common, uh, uh, 4chan, uh, text colors, too. Dude, you're as foul and unpleasant as ever. So, Dai might have took the edge off that, but, off that, but guess not. Thought Dai might have took the edge off, but guess not. 
Here, my charge, you ugly, you dirty whore. Come, bucket. Jump, bucket. Nice. Man, why do you gotta hate? And listen, bro, you better watch it with their slurs. Or tag them, at least. Unless you want Kankery giving you, giving you the biz. I'm sorry. I'll keep this quick. Come around and ask. You ever get God tier to the boy? What? Nope. Maybe. I mean. <laughs> okay. Look, take off your rad shirt deal and let me see if you got wings. <laughs> yes! Thought you never ask. You need to come on to my willy, motherfucker. Mother fucks. Wait, hello? <laughs> Help, I'll just take off my clothing again. <laughs> yeah, keep your shirt on. You made ex that exchange beyond awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know of anyone else who might be God tier in secret? Nobody could Googleize a bobble white head or hurt? I said. I, I really can't even read this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm just kind of trying my best. Starting with you! Hee 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 hee! You are the worst. <laughs> oh wait, those are supposed to be middle fingers. I almost couldn't tell for a second. <laughs> Organize a bubble ride strip shirt. <laughs> hey Tuna, you wanna help me kill? <laughs> I can't even finish this question while staying serious. <laughs> no, but I do what I No both why I wink. Alright, <laughs> fall down! Maybe Grin go in some shit. <laughs> what will you grind, hon? I volunteer! This thing's so... Dip. You! Gross, bro. Don't know how the tool, the tool even deals. I'm sorry. But also... Fuck you and your fucky jumpy fuck for the So fuck of a fucky fuck fuck fuck. Holy mackerel. It was sick fires, mostly. At least the parts that were actual words. <laughs> hey, isn't the afterlife supposed to heal people, or...? I... I... I don't understand. Why... Why is it that Pyrup still can't smell? And you still got horrible brain problems? Don't tell me Lijon's still deaf. I give up on figuring out the existential mysteries. Why do Hey, fuck you. <laughs> what? I feel I should jump in here at this moment before this escalates any further. We start throwing around hateful rhetoric that we can't take back. Oh, shell no. Natuna, I know you often struggle with this, but you just used an extremely derogatory and hateful cast. Specific sir, what you probably knew was once commonly new to despair siege only members of our society, our land dweller dwelling castes who were especially complicit in furthering the oppressive fuchsia down power structure. Now we all need to realize that royals versus that royal V's and those rare few who are higher, such as Mina, are members of the arist aristocracy, enjoy a tremendous position of privilege over Others and therefore we cannot view us as we're. Where the fuck did you even come from, asshole? Yeah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And Mina, while I can understand your frustration at being verbally assaulted under any circumstances, it is incumbent upon me to remind you that meat Matuna requires a certain amount of special consideration and more than a little patience. Please try to resist taking this bait, taking his bait, which I'm guessing is mostly well intended before its contentious undertow pulls you further into an exchange laden with deep problematic expressions of ableism, ableistic slurs, and other such manifestations of unchecked privilege. 
Man, just what the actual fuck are you doing here? <laughs> How are you even in this chat, yo? You aren't even remotely in the same corporeal vicinity as us. Like, I literally do not understand how you just jumped into the conversation like that. Can you maybe get lost? On the other hand, I am being honest. I found the Tuna's entire existence to be pretty problematic and impediment to the advancement of overall awareness of ableism and its painful man. Blah 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 blah. Could do without the sensitive. Frankly, I'm not crazy about the helmet either. What's wrong with my What's wrong with my helmet? Nothing, friend. It's a really cool helmet, and it's a good look for you. But are we now going to assume that all those who are stricken with your uh and they do fall down and hit my head frequently. I know you do. I think you should continue wearing it for your safety, particularly if you continue to insist on Flannery about on your dangerous toy. It's more about the unfortunate message you are sending overall, which certain aspects of your per with certain aspects of your personality and existence. That's all. I'm sorry. As a friend, I wouldn't want to keep anything about you. Wouldn't want to change anything about you. Well, not most things, but I think you must might be doing yourself. I say this with all due sensitivity. Fuck you! <laughs> Mantis, you're being a shit. Don't talk about him like that. Thank you. Anyway, I didn't mean to derail. I'll be on my way. Please continue your discussion. And try to keep some of the issues I've described in length. Anyway. I hate all of my friends so fucking much. Ugh. Mean is interactive quest. You can only leave this area if you're being here. Can I go down this other way? Probably not, but what's a shot? Oh, hey, we can. Is this. Can it be? It is! It's Problem Sooth Ace Dick and Pickle Inspector in their original prospitin' attire. You knew it! You know you could find them eventually. So great to meet. Wait. This is not Problem Sooth Ace Dick and Pickle Inspector. It's just random prospitins who are similarly proportioned. You're beginning to think you'll never run into them. Oh, that's a shame. So, is there anything here? Besides the Problem Sooth reference? It doesn't look that way. Dog, before you even start with your junk, I just want to point out that I can barely understand a word you say. I'm sorry. Like between your cock off, your cod awful quirk, and your variety of weird, conflicting speech impediments, and the fact that even aside from all the shitty numbers you stick in words, you're still misspelling half of what you say. I just. I just GTF you. Give straight the fuck up. Give straight the fuck up, yo. Like old mother glover. That's why you gotta build up our references. Thank fuck you were never a major player, at least for my personal advantage over the course of this ridiculous huge fucking narrative. Way minor character, yo. Probably could have offed my shelf, <laughs> shelf even sooner if you had to hear if I had to hear you talk too much. Really too bad since you got the bestest, fishiest, fishiest name of anyone. Sorry. Alright, well, let's continue onward, I guess. Is there anything new down here if you're Mina? Probably not, I wouldn't think so, but worth a shot, right? It's gonna be. Yeah, it's not them still. So I guess is this official confirmation that the po Problem Sooth gang are, in fact, Carpathians? I mean, I guess it would suppose, since the Midnight Crew are sort of their evil counterparts. But hey, hey, hey But that's still an interesting little bit of lore that they've just suggested. A tarot, a tarot deck. Any aspiring seer would be crazy not to keep one of these on hand. Maybe you'll try selling it to Kankri later. 
Were they talking about Brawl in the orange nightgown? I didn't see what the hashtags were. Huh, this is this is cool. This does not contain your memory. Only Mulan can access this bubble. Oh, hello there. One more, one key to go. Oh, hello, and we got another, another juju, a voodoo doll to be exact. You wonder what happens if you pull one of these pins. Nah, better leave them be. Got a bad feeling about this thing. Really bad? Uh, what's the word you're looking for? Bad. Mojo? <laughs> Whatever you say. Bad juju. And it was a dice. Magic uh, voodoo doll. She used to travel between t between timelines. Alright, well, this should be interesting. Hello, High Lord. Krulas. Yo, freak, remember me? <laughs> hmm. Talkative, Soren, aren't you? So. so, what kind of conversation could we even have that wouldn't be weird and awkward? I see. Got anything for me other than an eerie glare and a gross stitched up smile? looking at me? <laughs> What's the wicked word these days? <laughs> well, he's concise, I'll give him that. <laughs> uh, is the frame rate gone to shit for anybody else? Um, it's like I have it open, but I haven't noticed. Well, anyway. It's very... Man of few words. Should be cold, hold skill. Should be cold, home skillet. So I guess I want you to join my army. Maybe. If you promise you ain't gonna be too capricious or clown shit or bullshit, bad shit or whatever. Nope. Well, at least you're honest about it. Got any crazy chuckle, crazy chuckle voodoo tips on how to kill a cherub? Mm hmm. So, nothing to say as usual then. <laughs> that was cute. He's Mr. Zupper Lips. It's awesome we had this talk. You wouldn't even know how to begin being this oddball. Best to just leave him alone. Yeah, the chessboard. Got a juju. Looks to be a chess set, but to be specific. It's quite lovely, but a bunch of the pieces are missing. Hey! Mulan's pet. Cat mom. I love how they're- I love how all of the, uh... Hey, there she is. I love how all of the, uh... Lucy are explicitly called parents now. It's adorable. Olive potion. It's supposed to be a love potion. Just one sip and- Oh, it's just more nasty troll blood. What the hell is going on here? Who's even bottling this stuff? Ah, oh, well, you'll hang on to it anyway. Maybe we'll be able to con some- Some love struck- Love struck sucker out of a whole mess of movies for this stuff. At all. If you're not meaning it right now, you just chuck it off the. If you're not meaning it right now, you just chuck it off the lily pad. Although, to be honest, Caliborn, stop eating the pieces. Stop doing things to the pieces. Teapot. Hmm. Cam meow smile? Claws! Action claws. Whoa, easy there. You can accidentally grab one of them firmly and then drag it across your face diagonally if you're not careful. Ugh. 
Thanks for that memory. This does not contain your memory. Only Krulus can access the memory. And there's the last one. Sup, you? Kitty face! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Whoa, Lijon. Your rumble spheres. <laughs> Cl clam those suckers this instant. No. <laughs> I will not call my tits. I will not claim them. They will stay wild and... Uh, they will stay wildly and gloriously unclaimed because, and I repeat... Mog! Mog? Mog! Mina! Mog! I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, that mod could not be any simpler. Unless spelled correctly. <laughs> Dude, fuck mod. Oh, wait, you mean OMG? <laughs> well, fuck that too. I know you can physically monitor the volume of your piercing fangirly shrieks, but try to keep it down. You can't physically monitor the volume of your piercingly fangirly shrieks, but try to keep it down. Like, just be normal excited for once. Mm -hmm. No, she's just as adorable as Nepeta. It's great. Or, should I say, for Pounce? So many threes. Me and I missed you so much. Why didn't we ever hang out when we were alive? I had so much time to ponder that, and it's one of my deepest regrets. Oh. It's probably because you didn't like me very much. That's cool. No one really did. But that's not true. I'm sure I liked you, didn't I? I mean, I did try to kill you a couple times. You did? I don't remember that. Water under the crossing, Truscal. Yes. But, um, if you tried to kill me, shouldn't I be the one to say that to you? Lejeje, how about you just shut up and go back to being excited to see me? Feel free to unclam those tatas. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. We've reached the point where Adventure Time started becoming a thing, <laughs> evidently. All right. Can we please cool it on the shitty memes, though? Seriously, I can't understand what you're trying to say half the time. The literal worst form of communication ever. Stop speaking in memes so I can understand you! We have to catch up right away. You missed out on so much while you were gone. Catch, like a fish. She, see, I'm your friend. That really... To be on... To be... To be conscious... Conscious, that sounds mad unlikely. You would not believe the boring conversation to just slog through with some of your with some of you glubbin wind buggers, baggers. Even ones I technically wasn't even being me. You so did though, we've all been through a lot since we died. I believe we made a lot of progress in dealing with our personal issues and putting our old differences behind us. Eternity has only strengthened my commitment to cat puns. Don't sound like you put too much time into your fighting skills though. Y'all do realize you might be on the verge of dying again, right? And the shipping! <laughs> Always with the shipping. Oh my god, me the, the shipping! <laughs> the shipping! You won't even believe who got together over the sweeps. The quadrants, the quadrants, they paired up and like, will blow your mind. I don't think I can even convey how much I just... I can't... No, that's... I'm completely unable to can right now. <laughs> I have zero, exactly zero cans. You don't understand, Mia. The feels! The feels! Memes incoming! Feels! Feels! <laughs> feels! I had a suspicion that this chat would devolve into gossip about who banged who. Troll sign language makes all the difference. 
Let me know if you want to catch up on actual relevant shit sometime. Uh, here, here's my math. You all got shell phones here? Here, right? Holly at you, girl. Minix. Mumix. So tell me, what exactly the bullshit reason you can't join me to fight uh, Lord Bad Guy? You want me to fight that guy with you? But I don't, I don't think I'll be very... That will be very feasible. No shit. <laughs> I don't want to completely wash my paws of the idea, but I just have so many balls of yarn in the air right now. So many potential ships to juggle. So busy, a hypothetical matchmaker's job is never done. That isn't anything even close to resembling a real responsibility. <laughs> I don't want you to think I don't give a lick about joining your fight, but I just don't think I'll be very useful. By the way, lick was a subtle cat pun. Dunno, it doesn't sound like you give much of a carp about anything that isn't shipping or saying cat things. By the way, sound was a subtle pun pertaining to organic oceanography. Geography. Also, carp is a fish in any fin. It's just a thing I say all the time. Duh. Come on, Mina. Don't you draw... Wanna relax just a bit before you go right off to rough, rough hive some more? I heard you have taken a keen interest in Kankri's ancestor. Son of a fish. <laughs> well, Mina, is that true? Hmm? Hmm? Mullen is excitable fangirl tu tu fandom tumbler. Even if it was true. Which is the very de which it very which is the very definition of ain't. How the shit could you even heard something like that already? Not literally heard with your ears, ears. You know what I mean. It's true. I just know it. Guys, he's dead. <laughs> yes, please do that. Do you want me to set you up with him? Before you say no, I urge you to not underestimate the power of my romantic sorceries. You have been out of the loop for a long time, so time, so you have no idea the kinds of miracles I've been brought by this mage of art. Now before I work my magic, you should get one thing clear. Is your yearning red or black? I'm only asking to be absolutely certain that me thinks there is barely any doubt about it. Someone is waxing scarlet for a loud younger cake green. Hmm? Hey, Sean. Are you reading my lips? Pretend you can hear me in that. <laughs> I'm saying this so loud your kitty cat ears hurt. Shut the fuck up. Don't set me up with any with any boy, okay? With an enemy bully, okay? How fish puns be done? Booyah! An enemy an enemy bully? Anemone bully, bully. Just keep it in your fa in your friend fix. Right about doing it or whatever, just shut up! <laughs> oh, oh, GM! <laughs> you have the best- I have the best idea for a fic like that. But don't worry. Uh, my Polisky with such litigious material is the same as it's always been. I will not show, so, show a soul until I have shown it to you and the younger Aventus. And you both approve, I promise. Yay, another worthless conversation under my belt. Belt with a bedazzled fuchsia strap and a solid gold buckle. Time to bounce. Okay, so we go to this memory, I guess. No, no. It's the other memory that was hers. Remember spending a fair amount of your time hopping around these lily pads? Once you stumble down a treasure so rare, so incredible, you could find neither the words nor the memes <laughs> uh, to describe it. Alas, you lost it. Could this be the gateway to that special memory? It's a cod piece. Oh god, so soft, so inviting. You're fighting the temptation to wear it right now with all your might. If the crotch was any more forgiving, it would be canonized by the Vatican. And I give this to Kolex, I suppose, and that lets me be him. 
Throw the dial. <laughs> He speaks the language of the memes. Okay, but let's be real, we've all had conversations like this. It's it's not a thing to be proud of, but it's true. <laughs> Unsee! Unsee! <laughs> Sad doctor. Codpiece. Give Kuz the codpiece. Yes. Excellent- what the fuck? <laughs> Excellent work, my mage. With this most righteous motherfucking pelvic apparel, the wicked ensemble is now complete. It must be delivered to the Bard of Rage at once so that he may continue our lord's mirthful Motherfucking work. All hail the one true messiah. OTM riders and ninjas represent. What the sh? Long live the angel of double death. May the bard's righteous cuckle voodoo's inspire nightmares in all who would oppress, who would oppose Calicorn. And may the jock jockey killy of his vast honk ring loud and motherfucking true all the way to Shankle Lowell. Church. Okay, that's enough of motherfucking that pious noise. Time to rendezvous with my home killer and drop the special science on him. May his ludicrous pair of shorts ask me if his holy mission and flummox all who would cats their unworthy gaze upon his flesh fucking bulge. A hey, motherfucking men, my motherfucking kitty bitch. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, so we have another... Well... Okay, then. Now we know how... how... Mm -hmm -hmm. Kept many secrets from your friends. Secrets to you are always the most beautiful miracles of all. They are the private answers to a bunch of riddles no one ever asked. But since this place is made of, is made of memories, you've had to be extra careful with your secrets. You've carved out an extensive network of virtual catacombs throughout the bubbles, leading to hidden treasures, black collections, and perhaps one or two illicit drop-off points. This is how Gamji got his god-tier outfit, I guess. The crowbar. The juju breaker. This must be guarded carefully, you cannot let it fall into the wrong hands. Please let it fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> the juju chest. Only a chair can open it. It would be double dying of curiosity to know what's inside, except for the fact that it would be heresy to even wonder. And you would bite your tongue for having the thought. And or I chewed it off long ago. Okay, so. So this is happening now. I come bearing the final jolly accruement, my faithful inverto brother. On this day, the Dark Carnival rejoiced and said it was money. Now bring to life our wicked ruse with a plume, my ninja. Our lord awaits your servitude and tutelage at once. We shall now bust open the, these bitchin' elixir forties and pour some sweet swill out for the souls who soon won't be no more. Shut your motherfucking motherfucking mouth and give me the cod piece. I love how they are still pretending it's a mystery who that we were talking to just there. Alright. Interestingly, something I picked up on just there was, uh... He said that, uh... Lord English needs uh, Gamgee's tutelage uh, service and tutelage, which makes me think uh, Gamgee's gonna be like 
serving under Lord English and also doing something with Caliborn. Like teaching him how to do shit or something. Might have missed the conversation. Looks like somebody's custodian is in the permanently surly mood today, as well as all other days. Crab Dad. Missed quite a few conversations, really. Huh? Hey, get the fuck out of my- oh, it's you again? Sorry, for a second I thought Iridin's awful ancestor found his way in here. Need to replay some of them? Okay. I didn't even know it was possible for it to be more of a shitbag than that guy, but somehow Emperor Teen Senior pulls it off. I never believed it if, it if I didn't absorb it with my own aggravation spuns. Just incredible. Yeah, Ventus, I'm gonna clue you in on something. Notice my crew is hex off dreadful, dreadful to be around. I know! How is it even possible for a group of people to suck so much when they're presumably more, almost genetically identical to a bunch of people I like? Maybe it's the age difference? Or the fact that they all grew up on a planet for lame pansies who are civi civically obliged to wet themselves daily? <laughs> I have to admit, meeting all of our ancestors has, has been kind of under overwhelming. Kind of had to get away from everybody and just be alone for a while. Hopefully I'll just fucking wake up soon. Uh-oh. You want I should step off? Uh... No, that's okay. They're actually fine, mostly. I just couldn't take another encounter with the red sweater guy. He's left my head spinny and not just because he never shuts the fuck up. For a long time, I didn't even believe we had ancestors. I thought even the concept of ancestors was just superstitious, ego-struggling, aristocratic bullshit. But not only does it turn out you're all real, but apparently you had this whole different culture in an, alter an alternate universe before us. Sorry, that's a lot to take in. Wait. Oh no, fuck me, holy shit. Before us? <laughs> God damn it, I just got that? <laughs> Uh, poor Carcat's late to the joke. Carcat Diamond Mina, yeah, it's. Yeah, I kind of like. I'm kind of liking them as boy rails. They're nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. Me and you guys is making me have little infuriating revolutions like that almost constantly. Like now, cast the name of my own planet in a whole new stupid light. Alternia, as in alternate. Alternate to what? Turns out it was the alternate to a plant called Before Us. A plant which came before us. Haha, <laughs> get it? Whatever Joker's names the name to these plants were complete morons. <laughs> well, it The planet was the planet Alternia was named by Toby Fox, who gave us the character of uh of um uh, Asgore in Undertale, who famously was also terrible with names. So I think that Toby Fox is just terrible with names. <laughs> terrible at coming up with names, anyway. Well, for what it's worth, Alternia is the bomb compared to my planet. And I'm not just saying that because Grown Up Me ran the joint. <laughs> hey, don't let anyone kid you, Alternia was fucking great. I don't even care that my blood made me a pariah. It was worth it to live on such a badass planet. Some people like to talk shit about the Empress, and that's true. She probably would have called the shit out of me on sight, but you know what? I always respected her as a strong leader. She knew how to get shit done and didn't put up with any dissension from worthless idiots. And all she did was, you know, take over the entire fucking galaxy. Not too shabby. I used to have this kind of embarrassed, embarrassing fantasy that I would grow up one day and become a Threshix... Reshikutioner. Do you know what that is? They were like the deadliest squad of interstellar fighters under the command of the Empress. 
They helped conquer more planets than any other Imperial force. It would have been impossible for me to make the cut because of my blood. So I used to think of all these elaborate scenarios to hide my blood color. Or in the more ridiculous fantasies, maybe I could even prove my worth as a soldier. Like, just be so awesome with a sickle they would have to make an exception. Maybe even be like a folk hero and rise through the ranks to become the leader. <laughs> Those were obviously just childish daydreams. I've learned a lot about what being a leader really means since then. Maybe that's a lot harder than everyone thinks. So I guess I learned to respect who you turned out to be in my world. Even more than I did already because of that. Yeah. The leadership thing is hard as globes. I can barely get anyone to lift a flipping finger in my session. And now it's like that all over again, trying to raise this army. I really don't know how sexy bitch grown-up me pulled it off. Oh yeah, how is that going? How many recruits do you have? Wanna well, take a guess? Eh, yeah, still zero, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. Seriously, fuck leadership? I know! Well look, how about this? Later on when I'm awake, obviously, maybe our meteor will hit a rendezvous point with you again? If by then you're still looking for recruits, I'll, like, hop off the meteor or something and join your army. Then we, I mean, you and me and whatever other idiots we've rounded up can go fight the invincible demon. Uh, I don't know why every time I turn around I'm up against an invincible demon of one sort or another. I guess that's just the impossible kind of thing paradox space wants me to prove I'm not some horrible mistake of nature. Anyway, does that sound good? Oh, but on one condition, as the new Empress, you have to appoint me as Grand Threshekutioner of your army. Do we have a deal? Oh, yes, you got it. Oh, she's so happy. Good, now that that's settled. Now I'm going to go for a walk. Do some more thinking. Alone. Okay. Just uh, make yourself at home here. In this strange memory projection of my room. I'll tell you not to rifle through any of my ship, but none of it is even real, so go nuts. Whatever. I'm leaving. Be car cat. Uh, sure. Grumble. Like I said, make yourself at home. Feel free to hang out with my Lucius there. Though I should warn you, he's never met another kid he didn't make at least some vague attempt to eat. Oh, now we're out here? Okay. Terezy's neck of the woods. Stabbing cane. It would be really unfortunate to be blind and walk around without having a reliable instrument to help you stab where you're going. full of embezzled beetles. It's the absolute perfect currency for bribing, bribing corrupt uh, prosecutors. When you find yourself in the hot seat with the law, their greedy snouts simply cannot resist. Just make sure the terrifying brainless monster judge doesn't catch you in the act. You have to wait for his tyranny to be distracted by something besides the judicial proceedings. This is an occurrence that is far from infrequent. What the hell is What is this? <laughs> is this like a fully grit what? This is a big ass Lucius right here? Terzy, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were asleep. <laughs> Shrug. Why are you here all alone in the woods? In the pretend woods, I guess? And why do you have your dragon cosplay pulled down like that? Is something the matter? No. Uh, what's going on with you? I'm fine. There is he. You don't, you don't sound fine. I know when something's up with you. Car cat, please just leave me alone. There is he. What's wrong? Okay, I get it if you want some alone time. I mean, I actually got just got done sulking the fuck out myself just now. It really helps to talk to somebody. You can talk to me about stuff. You know that, right? Yeah, I guess. Is it Dave? Did he do something douchey again? 
he break up with you? He broke up with you, didn't he? I knew it. Can't you see the writing on the wall? He didn't break up with me. It has nothing to do with Dave. Okay, what then? You seem to be hiding your eyes there. It's my ancestor. What about her? She... she's just so... <laughs> so radical. <laughs> uh, just did not know it was even possible to be so rad. <laughs> I almost can't handle it, Carcat. <laughs> the radness. How does she do it? Well, let's see. She rides a fucking skateboard, and that's it. Pretty much end of the explanation. I think it's just so much more than that. Everybody loves her. She's so sassy and fun. She's the best at games, and all her stunts are incredible. How am I supposed to measure up to that? Aww. Don't tell me this is going to be a thing with you now. What thing? Self-esteem thing? You really shouldn't be like that. It's just so unwarranted. Oh, that's sweet, Carcat. Well, that's how I feel, so too bad. Terezi, I can't stress this enough. You are not in anyone's shadow. Let me tell you something about our ancestors. They're all assholes! <laughs> she is not an asshole. No, she is, trust me. They all are, at least the vast majority. They practically aren't even people. They're walking, talking like... I don't know how to put it. Almost like living parodies of horrible, cliched behavior patterns. What, you mean, like, teenagers? <laughs> yes. But it's more than just that. Take my ancestor, for example. Total asshole. Probably the worst asshole there is. Yeah, he is. You wouldn't know it right away, because I guess he doesn't yell at people like me. But that probably makes it worse. He just goes on and on about the most sanctimonious, incomprehensible garbage you ever heard. He thinks he's better than everyone, but then dresses it up in this hype bogus, hyper-academic humility. He tries to defend people with problems, but just winds up insulting those people in backhanded ways. He lectures people endlessly, and whatever he rises to the defense of, of his friends, he usually ends up giving them a big fuck you by being imp imp implicitly judgmental. I could go on forever about him, but I won't, because then I'd be stooping to his level. <laughs> and your answer? Yeah, she's fun, I guess, but talk about a phony. Oh, and don't give a fuck about what anyone says. Losing your sense of smell is not a real disability. Her rad girl thing is such an obvious act, she's clearly wor worked for sweeps on perfecting it, and quite apparently revels in the attention it gets her. But the fact that she works so hard on it is exactly why you don't have anything to worry about. You don't even need to try to be the good person you already are. So you already know how to be, how to have fun and be likable just by being yourself. It doesn't need to be a part of some over-the-top shtick to impress people. When she does the rad girl thing, it's like a disguise, probably covering up some part of herself she's unhappy with. But when you withdraw and cover yourself up like that, you're actually just preventing people from seeing somebody who's already beautiful someone who's already beautiful. And I know I completely fucked up with you. This isn't uh okay, I'm not like trying to redeem myself here. I made my recu I made my I re my uh Recoupa coon, and now I have to wriggle around in its slime. I totally accept that. But as your friend, I really don't want you to start feeling bad about yourself because of one of those shallow, two dimensional dipshits. But I totally condone that you made your choice about me, and I respect your decision. I just want you to be happy, is all. Okay, I'm probably just sticking my foot in my fucking talk, talk blaster yet again, and then probably making you uncomfortable. I guess I'll go back to my room now. Hope you take at least some of what I said seriously, though. Um, yeah. Okay, bye. Let's see. Whoop. Oh, okay. And now we're Terezy. What are you doing in my hive? Shit, Prayer, don't sniff at me. 
standing around in Shout Cat's a play place when it when all when all dreams switched on me out of nowhere. Did you see him come in here? No. Wait, you looking for him too? Yes. Good luck with that. The guy's slippery as a goddamn eel. Spent all day tracking him down myself. But I finally caught up with him a little while ago. I like this little Imperial March thing that Terezi's got going on. Yeah. I think... Might be going on a date later? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... Maybe. I don't know, if I'm misreading his intent there... He might know better than me. What did he say? Well, whatever the case, it is later. He's gonna hop off the meteor and fight Lord Invincible with me. What, do you think I'm breathing too much into this shit, or... Um... Shrug? <laughs> well, I, so, I mean... If a guy tells you he's willing to fight an invincible demon with you... That... That means something! At the very least, I will... I will... Uh, I will admit that you are probably right to think that that means something. I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm out. Side we got is Grey Grave, Hyro. Can appreciate a girl with a gaudy sense in design. Be Mina? I mean, I guess. And now, where the hell are we going? <laughs> More exposition. Uh, cherub quest. I still haven't found her quite yet. Any leads, or... Not really. She's apparently very well hidden. Uh, yeah, sure. But... Have you even really been looking? Um... Have you been fucking around with your little exposition stand? I've been dividing my time efficiently, but thank you for your concern. <laughs> It wasn't even that long ago we were talking about other boring stuff. You had to drag your stand over here to the top of this tree. Like, all waiting for me up here? How long did that take? <laughs> Never mind about that! And yes, I did stop along the way to explain some important things to people. People are curious about information, Mina. They want to know things, alright? They want to know... Or you want to tell them? Both! <laughs> okay, let me ask this. Did you pay them so you could explain stuff? Yes. <laughs> uh, so? So how long would you estimate your spent cherub hunting in between your splainings? I... Look, finding this cherub is, is always going to be a slow-burning quest. It is an intricate, layered mystery and can't be rushed. I'm working on it! <laughs> Ariana Serket, I have something to explain to you at no expense. I find your humorously inefficient approach to this quest to be Max Adorbs. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, time to learn about some more trolls. Cronus, the Bard of Hope. They seem a little jaded these days, but he once had a deeply abiding faith in magic and dedicated himself to becoming a great wizard. He became convinced he was hatched to defeat an extraordinarily evil magician, one he swore the angels foretold of. Though when pressed for the name of the man, he would not say it, claiming it was too dangerous to even enunciate. Part of his self-aggrandizing mythos that was that this magician once somehow, from afar, tried to strike him down at a young age so that he would never have to, f never have to face him. The evil spell was deflected, sealing the magician's spirit away in a series of unassuming vessels until he could find some other cunning way to enter our universe. The attack supposedly left him with his distinctive scar, which he is not reluctant to point out was when trying to hit on me. Uh, I mean, he wasn't reluctant to mention it in casual conversation. At some point he became disillusioned with magic. If there was ever any truth to his far-fetched vision, the legacy of defeating the evil magician would have been would have to be passed on to his descendants, or if his descendant proved to be as much of a failure as he did, which he did, then perhaps onto some other hero of hope? 
I'm unsure why he suffered that crisis of faith, aside from the obvious reasons having to deal with an overall lack of character and any other redeem or any other redeeming qualities. Perhaps someone talked him out of his beliefs. Maybe a friend close to him. Or if one is to believe his fantasy held any water, perhaps someone was who was in league with the evil magician. Whatever the case, it was probably for the best, since pretty much everyone who was half a think pan thought it was all a bunch of ridiculous nonsense. Hmm. <laughs> Sir Cat, why do you gotta hate on other people's religions? Don't you know they ju they just as much as don't you know they just as much a load of bunk uh, as bunk as all your spiritual bullfuck? But I yes, I guess it was out of line. Sorry, I was trying to work with you a little on the mutually disliked acquaintance. Is that really so bad? Why do you have to take every opportunity to knock my personal beliefs? You can really be mean sometimes. Can I have my money now? <laughs> yes, here. Alright. Interesting, but, uh, I mean, it does sound like... It does sound like the situation with Lord English. So maybe, uh... Maybe Curl has, like, talked him out of realizing his potential and kind of, you know, allowed this whole situation to happen. Because Cronus couldn't step up. The Hare of Doom was once a, pro was once a powerful psionic. He was gifted with vision twofold and had strong prophetic insights wherever a bleak future was concerned. He had much to say when it came to warning us about the path of doom and destruction we were all headed for. But no one took him very seriously. But one day he lost all those abilities when he badly overexerted himself. It's hard to get any specifics from him, but indications are he applied every last bit of energy he had towards some great act of heroism, saving us all from some looming threat. Not only did his exertion permanently burn out his psychic abilities, but it left him somewhat, er, incoherent. So that's what happened to Matuna. Yeah, I always wonder what happened there. Anybody ever get to the bottom of that? Nah, the entire incident is shrouded in mystery. From his limited and scattered accounts of what happened, it seems very likely that uh, Curlis was with him at the time, as the only eyewitness. Uh-oh. And of course, it's impossible to get any reliable information out of him. I guess we may never know, sadly. Huh. wonder if Curlis is also behind uh, uh, Latuna B losing her sense of smell. This is actually kind of interesting. It was well worth the money you're giving me to put up with it. Agreed. Prince of Rage. He actually used to be quite talkative. That is, until he had a nightmare which prompted a bizarre incident, after which he would never speak again. He took a sort of spiritual vow of silence, which I'm sure was probably related to his esoteric faith. Thereafter, he became infuriatingly enigmatic. I found it impossible to get any info out of him, between his ambitious mimes and penchant for riddles. It's very frustrating, especially for someone like me, who has a passion for gathering as many facts about her story as possible. Want to know a secret? Please don't tell anyone, but I really don't, can't stand the guy. Me neither. Uh, both of them. Both him and Gamgee are trouble. It's probably unfair to him, because he is obviously such a sweet and harmless fellow. But somewhere, something about him rubs me the wrong way. I guess I just can't be a... I guess I can just be a little petty sometimes. Yeah. Wow, Sir Kit. Just wow, so rude. Poor clown. Don't give me that. I seem to remember you having... Having more than a few unkind words for him behind his back. Yeah, I'm messing with you. With you. He sucks. So. Conversation over? Yes. Okay. Ching! Mullin. Sweet and harmless Gamgee. Yeah. The Mage of Heart, as you know, is an ancient disciple of the Romantic Sciences. She has a well-earned reputation as a miracle worker when it comes to matchmaking. But her own romantic history, ironically, has been riddled with trouble and heartbreak. Once... Well before our session began, she and Curlos were in a very loving mateship, mateship sprite. <sighs> so Curlos is apparently like the heart of everything bad that happened in this session. Much like Gamzee. 
really seemed to everyone they were made for each other. One day they fell asleep together. Gamji then had a nightmare so terrifying he released the most dreadful sound imaginable. It truly echoed the terror of the vast honk itself. The noise was so loud and awful, Molin went completely deaf, and her hearing never recovered. Curlos was undoubtedly, dev undoubtedly devastated by what he'd done to her. He was so distraught he sewed his mouth shut and has never spoken a word since. Though they drifted apart, Ma Molin never held it against him, and even seemed to take delight in learning new ways to communicate. They continue to remain very close to this day, maybe a little too close if you ask me. It's clear that her sympathies have been gradually swayed in support of the High Bloods cult. She stays private about her beliefs, but now and then I notice she lends some tenet of mirthful doctrine slip out. I suspect I shouldn't be too concerned, though, since it's almost certainly a lot of harmless superstition. Ugh. 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 Honk. Honk, honk. Please stop that. You're freaking me out. Well, I'm glad we can both agree that clowny fucking soda cult is the dumbest shit ever. Yes, now here's your money. Thanks for thanks thanks for listening. Sir so even know how silly y'all are. <sighs> hmm. This leads to the end of the game. Are you sure you're done here? Well, I think I'm done. Um I didn't see a whole lot of points where I think I would have missed something. See, are there any Easter eggs to go back and look for in this little session? Asking in the chat right now. Before I go. Check to see what. Just the conversation between Cronus and the tuna. Yeah, I didn't didn't mean to uh, hit restart, but oh well. Talk to Cronus. And get an Easter egg while talking as well. Okay. That yeah, I can do. I think that was supposed to happen while I was on screen last time around, and it just didn't for some reason. Must have been just an odd glitch with the flash. Chief, looking good today. Is that a new helmet? Oh, yeah, fuck Easy there. It was a joke. Of course it's not a new helmet. But do you think I'm a top... Oh, short on common sense? No. Did you see Mina go by? No. She went that way, didn't she? No. Are you sure? No. Listen, mate, I don't mean to call all you a liar, but I saw her walk up to you. No. I was spying on both of you from behind the hive. Over there, I saw you do a seriously groovy face plant off the railing. No, 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 no. You're a really priceless capture. Have I ever told you what a cool cat I think you are? Why are you touching me? I really feel like you're one of the only people I can open up to about my feelings. Yes, it really does help to confine some of you basically lacks the ability to repeat what you say with any clarity or coherence. I don't even understand what you said in the first place. Jesus Christ. You're still touching me and I don't understand why this is happening. The truth be told, I always felt that way. Okay, this is getting creepy. <laughs> I don't want your hand there. Oh, you're in the
<sighs> it's got a Moirail alliance with uh, Curlas still. Yeah. True, the rumor that you're actually lucid when you talk with him instead of behaving like a babbling vertical stricken imbecile? I want the weird touching stuff. What I'm trying to say is you don't judge like the others. Well, okay, you do, but I can't really take your vitriol that seriously because you're so obviously present with your true emotions. For instance, who could I confide in when I begin to fully come to terms with this feeling deep inside that I was actually using the board and the body of a troll? Cat, get away. Get away from me. You don't care that much, you weekend? Jesus Christ, this guy? You don't trick. You don't, tri you don't mock me for it and trivialize my tragic existence. Well, you do, but the point I'm trying to make is that when you mock me, it doesn't actually mean anything because. Cat. Cat, I need you to not be right there. Because <laughs> uh, you weigh everything you say is such putrid nonsense. Great fun. Great day. I want that your hand to not be on my body, please. Oh, now come on, guy. I was just giving you a friendly little solar shots with one hand. Please don't make this more awkward than it needs to be. Sorry. I forgive you. Now hold that thought. I'm going to see if I can catch up with Mina. Don't follow me because obviously you're going to cramp my style. How's my hair look? Can I come with you? You know I'm sick of these people when I just stop reading the dialogue out loud. <laughs> Please stop apologizing so much. Hankree versus Co uh, Cronus in a fight to the double death, who would you root for? Lord English. Oh, I almost forgot. I've been working on a song I think you might like. Your, your music is shit and I fucking hate you? Fair enough. But seriously, stay here. I'm gonna go work my magic. Try not to fall down. And above all, try not to be seen. This dialogue was still assuming you uh, found it while uh, being Mina. It's kind of funny. Let's see, is this dialogue the same? I assume so, but you never know. Fortune prospittens. Beginning to think you'll never run into them. I would love to see Problem Sooth and company just show up for no reason in this comic. That would be kind of funny.
Wait, where'd she go? Dang, it looks like she ditched you again. Story of her life. This is probably Captain Helmet's fault. She go grill him. Knew I wouldn't be able to go up there, but you know, whatever. Yes, and Cronus apparently has a manic obsession with Carcat now, which you know kind of bears out. He did, Carcat did say he was trying to get into his apartment earlier. I think I remember what, and there's apparently an Easter egg while being him. South side of the stairs. Oh. There is Halsey. Hey, you're Den, or whatever your name is. I'll go on a date with you. You feel? <laughs> Absolutely, I find you attractive and your personality is basically tolerable to me. Um, alright, sure. Guess beggars can't be choosers. Well, that's it. The only one... The only one in the universe who can put up with Cronus is Hussy. Well, there we go, then. So is that everything? Cronus Hussy OTP, yes. It is quite the... They are quite the perfect couple. So I think that's just about everything. Go to the seahorse, Dad. Oh, yes, seahorse, Dad. Sorry, bro. I was only using you to get cl close to your beautiful floating seahorse. <laughs> Giddy up, seahorse, Dad. Up, up, and away. What? The And just like that, my ship has sunk. This is literally, literally the worst case scenario for my feelings. <laughs> hey, I thought I told you to stay put. What? I told you to stay here in exactly this spot. I did. Well, she was gone. Someone must have framed her away. He must have spaced out and wandered into view briefly. <laughs> I got one look at you and couldn't split fast enough. No, I stayed here like you said. Wonderful, this is just exactly what I needed. Fought with all my frayed emotions lately. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm sorry. No, you're not, you're lying. Her whole bifee created demeanor is such an act. Half the time you are obnoxious and incomprehensible, and the other half you are mild and contrite. Sure, pal. So if I... As if I'm not so on to you, you only pretend to say you're sorry to get girls to like you more, blah blah blah. I don't know what... I don't know who wrote the book. I really dislike this. Finally! Oh, uh... Mina! Oh, um... Hmm. Oh, how long, uh... Are you standing there? Douche. So what is some scuzzy repartee or there even for you? I say my feelings is a harsh judgment. I can't handle that. On top of everything else you've done to me. What the fuck has I done to you? Ugh. Serious, please don't dismiss my emotions like that. I especially tortured and confused soul. I really can't afford an enemy more grief from you. I cannot believe you are doing my fish pun thing while you're still trying to hit on me. Eh, worth a shot. 
Don't ever say a fish thing again or I'll cut you. You know, you're being a hypocritical there, don't you think? What? Taking me to task for ripping captor a sorely deserved no new look. You aren't even more guilty of abusing the fort? You're such a glob of liar. Hey, that wasn't me. I mean, not yet. I alternate ways. Ah, uh, sure, no gru grub sauce in your hands. Well, you did it. Or you totally changed my mind about 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 you. Let's start making out immediately. Just admit you have it with a, within you to be just as harsh to our behemoth buddy as I am, if not more. Man, girl's gotta have a fuel in her pimp ride. No, I'm saying, like. I took care of him good. Now it's someone's gonna take care of the guy. Yeah. <laughs> At least I don't think I'm an alien. What are you talking about? Look at you all fronting that stupid get up. All with the slick tear and that dumb little wand in your mouth. Excuse me, that's not a wand. You know perfectly well my wizarding ways are behind me. It's called a human cigarette. Apparently, you're supposed to set it on fire. So you've asked me, bur burning a good is a perfectly good waste of a cool cigarette. Air rumor, I think you're you, you think you're human now. That true? It's a private matter. I don't see why I should have to put up with you and open myself to up to your judgment and scorn. Sounds like another desperate cry for attention. <laughs> oh. Species is no. <laughs> Oh, Gankri and Cronus together. This is... You don't have to defend me like this. I got it. And I'm gone. Your bros can't figure out how you're boring feelings without me. Wait, no, wait. So... Feelings really are real, not fake, like the huge disappointing fraud that magic turned out to be. Guess the truth is, deep down, I always knew I was a 50s style human racer. Uh. Wonderful, I'm so happy you have found the light of truth within yourself. Now join me in tagging our discussion with righteous warnings as we consecrate your disadvantage to the holy annals of problematics. Okay, well that line that line was funny. I'll give it that. That line was funny. This is still Probably beyond repair this time. <laughs> Guess I'll attempt to go suicide yet again. Of course by which I mean tell people I did to win sympathy points. Do the work. Did that work? Not really. Why don't you try it? What, with you? Yeah. This is clearly absurd, but now what the heck? I'm too I just can't take it anymore. I think I, my ghost is going to kill itself. What the fuck? What? Really? No, I for sure fucking garbage. No. Oh. Some poetry I made. I just broke my skateboard in half by walk and walked away. Doug, before you even start with your junk, I just want to find it. Yep, yeah, this is what we have before. So yeah, I think now we are actually done. <sighs> yeah, the little line about suicide, I mean... Yeah, that was another bad one. I, it's, I kind of was burned out on hating uh, uh, Kronos Kro Kro by that point, but yeah. Talk to me in his curlies. Is that a thing you can do? Oh, yeah. Yo. 
aren't quite done yet. Okay, so there was a bit with uh, Curlas and Mina and Mulan. I mean. Okay, so yeah, talk to be Mina, go to Mulan, and talk to Mina as Curlas. Which I didn't do before because it kind of just dropped me out of that line before unexpectedly. I did talk to her as Molin already. Might be wrong though. What? Oh, I wanna meant to ask. Have you met the humans yet? Okay, yeah, this is a new conversation. Yeah. Are they just so perf? Nah. Let's see what the big deal with them is. No. They're also perfectly adorable. Each is literally more perfect and precious than the last. Talk about the cod piece. Okay, yeah, that's all I can do. Well, you can hear how bonkers you sound. You know, you don't know. You don't understand. They are my babies. <laughs> what the fuck's a babies? They are my perfect, precious, gay little babies. <laughs> Uh, what's gay? It's a thing that human babies are sometimes, I think. <laughs> Can't even deal with this, Mino. Oh, do you even have the slightest idea what the shipping implications are? By adding the humans into the picture, both pre-scratch and post-scratch, it has increased the pairing possibilities exponentially. It's really been overwhelming. I can't even... I just... That's it. I can't. I'm so done. I'm done. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> Hate to change the subject. Not really. And I kind of sidestepped past Curlos back there while I was granting him a wide berth. Didn't want to get tangled up in his hair. <laughs> he obviously won't say a thing to me, which is props for the best. Since he actually talks to you, maybe you can answer stuff? Like what? Hair poofy? Like, do you know if he's god tier? I'm building this army, it's going and it's going horribly so far, hor horribly so bubble. It would be unimaginably horrendous having him along, but I need all the muscle I can get. No, I am saying. I actually don't know. Yes, we are pretty close, but you know how he is. He's still very sneakative. Still loves making riddles out of everything. He's been very excited lately. He feels that so many of his spooky religion's prophecies are on the verge of coming true, and the stars are coming into thought alignment. Remember how he used to go on and on about the Messiahs, angels of double death, and all that wacky stuff? Yeah, he always had way too many religious nut. We always had way too many religi too many religious nut jobs at our party. So always tuned him into uh, trout, or or slamming puns, or so I say salmon. Back when he could talk, at least. And he did us all the psycho favor of sewing his mouth su shut, so it's a win-win. Angels of double win, more like. Heh, I suppose. Please, please don't take this for interest in shipping talk. But you and he aren't a rad item anymore, right? Oh, no, 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 that's what, that was a way long time ago. We're just really good friends now. We hang out and joke around all the time. He even helps me with my grids. Generalize six of the red matchups while he advises on black. He's eerily talented at picking black round pairs, probably even better than me. Gee, how strange. What a fucking bore. What a boring fact. It's good you're good friends still. I thought I picked up heavy planktonic vibes from you. Now why don't you run along and talk to him? Make use of your mutual compatible disabilities for communicating and whatnot? Conversation over. 
Good girl. I don't have one. You don't have a cod piece? You've not attained such exquisite finery yet? Perhaps you should do a bit more treasure hunting. I've seen this before. Yeah, so that was the same conversation. Just without, you know, the cod piece in hand. So is that everything? I believe we have reached the end of this. Okay, one more question. Ugh. Did I not talk to it? Uh, did I not do that? Oh, yeah, I talked to Mina as Kurtz. Uh, this is There is no need to approach the young misguided empress. She remains blissfully in a rare of the machinations which transpire between the heroes of rage. Let her try to raise her pathetic army of souls. She will be double slain by our lord, just like all the other mirthless heretics. Honk. Honk. Ugh. Okay, I need to talk to Marlin too, right? My head feels really foggy. What just happened? I don't even remember walking over here. Did we just token some bad nip or something? Yeah, right, I shouldn't worry about it. <laughs> What's that? You have to run an errand? Okay, have fun. And he just slips away. Uh, so yeah, anything. Okay, no, so I might as well open these chests. One of them had a key, I think. Talk to Mara as Tira. Oh, for God's sake. It's like all these little. I don't need to open those, I don't care. <laughs> Trying to get you to do that one before you restart. I mean. I suppose. Oh well, at least it's not that far, much farther ahead, I don't think. Let's see, do I have all four keys? I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> hey. Giant Lucius over here still scares me a little bit. I wonder what it is. It looks like a T-Rex. Okay, stabby cane.
your dragon outfit rules. Mm. And that's it. <laughs> Alright. Theory time that's not, not Lucius, it's a living ATST. That would be cute. Alright, and with that, we are about done. Uh, and thus we come to the thrill thrill thrilling conclusion. I guess we'll just do the proper way. Yes. And we're done. Alright, so that has been another hour and a half, another two hour long walkabout. Um, a thousand percent done. Um, and yeah, it's and it's, and it's good, too, because it's about time for me to get ready for work anyway, so that's been our night again. Um, let's see. What, what day is it? I always lose track. It's Thursday night. Okay, so tomorrow's Friday, so there will be a live vlog tomorrow. Um, and then Saturday I am working, so no live vlog Saturday, but, but we'll be back here again tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night.